What is fascinating about KeplerBot? With the objective of achieving embodied intelligence and developing robotic systems that are universally adaptable, an increasing number of firms from around the world are entering the realm of humanoid robots. Kepler, a robotics company based in China, is one case in point. Kepler states that their Forerunner series, which is designed for broad use, demonstrates extraordinary capabilities in body movements, precision hand control, and sophisticated visual awareness. In the field of humanoid robots, this places it in a position to be a formidable rival to Tesla's Optimus. Hello, and thanks for stopping by. To avoid missing any of our new videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification feature. Sharing is greatly valued, and we appreciate your participation and feedback in the comment section below. At the 2024 Consumer Electronics Show, CES in Las Vegas, Kepler Exploration Robot Co., what, here and after referred to as Kepler, presented its revolutionary Kepler Forerunner series of general-purpose humanoid robots hence referred to as Kepler Humanoid Robot. Over 1,100 Chinese companies were among the more than 4,000 exhibitors at the event, which took place from January 9 to 12. This is an impressive 25% of all participants. The event was remarkable for its considerable Chinese involvement. Following the formal launch of its humanoid robots, Kepler made its debut at a major worldwide exposition with the showcase, which highlighted the company's contribution to the event. The Kepler humanoid robot attracted the quick attention of a large number of professionals who were present at the event. Among these professionals were several of the most renowned subject matter experts in the field. In his speech, Yibo Hu, one of the co-founders of Kepler, stated the company's vision of the robot assisting in human space exploration and resulting to a reduction in the number of hours work each week. The company claims that its humanoid robot aims to enhance productivity with cutting-edge technology, hastening the arrival of a three-day work week. A shift will enable humans to devote more time to meaningful endeavors such as space exploration, said Debo Hu, co-founder of the company, in a statement. The work week will be reduced to three days. Presented at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, CES, the Forerunner series from Kepler's is a demonstration of the company's cutting-edge innovations in the field of humanoid robots. The series, which includes Kepler's patented planetary roller screw actuator, its intelligent dexterous hand, and the Nebula system, is intentionally designed to be versatile across a wide range of application situations and collaborative platforms. Kepler, a company that was just four months into its journey when it was founded, captured the attention of industry insiders and media at the exhibition for its humanoid robots. This is a testament to the company's robust research and development capabilities, as well as its commitment to innovation. Kepler is at the forefront of technological innovation. The Kepler humanoid robot was presented to the visitors in attendance by Debo Hu, who is both the co-founder of Kepler and the vice president of the company today. The robots were able to capture the attention of a number of journalists from across the world while they were participating in the CES Showstopper Media event. The Kepler humanoid robot, which is part of the Forerunner series, is a general-purpose robot that is versatile and adaptable. The series includes three different models, which are as follows. These three advanced humanoids, K1, S1, and D1, each have a height of 178 centimeters, 5 feet 10 inches, and a weight of 85 kilograms, 187 pounds. They each have a hand that is both intelligent and nimble, and it has 12 degrees of freedom. As a result of having a total of 40 degrees of freedom throughout its body, the robot is able to perform exceptionally well in a variety of tasks, including but not limited to, navigating difficult terrains, avoiding obstacles with skill, manipulating hands with agility, lifting and carrying heavy objects with strength, achieving precise hand-eye coordination, and engaging in intelligent interactive communication. A high-tech system that was based on Tesla's Optimus and makes use of planetary roller screw actuator and rotary actuator technologies is what allows the Kepler humanoid robot to perform amazing feats. Because of this mechanism, the robot is able to carry out intricate movements of its body, have accurate control over its hands, and have sophisticated visual perception. The planetary roller screw actuator, which is in charge of the robot's limbs, provides a strong thrust of 8,000 newtons, 1,798 pound force. The company asserts that it is superior to traditional motors in terms of delivering precision control, enhanced power, and quick responsiveness, adeptly handling complex tasks, as stated in a statement released by Kepler. In the meantime, the rotary actuator, which is located in the waist and joints, offers robust support by producing a peak torque of 200 nanometers and repeating movements with a high degree of accuracy at 0.01 degrees. Because of this, the robot's bodily movements are guaranteed to be fluid and effective. Only a few components, such as the motherboard of the robot, 
are still supplied from overseas despite the fact that Kepler is gradually localizing the production of its own humanoid robots. The shift of key components to domestic providers is now in the planning stages. As part of an interview, Mr. Hugh highlighted Kepler's success in addressing supply chain difficulties by utilizing its extensive in-house research skills. These capabilities have been crucial in assisting with product development as well as cost effectiveness. In order to comprehend its environment, the Forerunner is equipped with a collection of sensors that are situated within its head. A wide-angle binocular camera, an accelerometer, a far-field array of four microphones, and an HRS attitude and heading reference system are some of the examples of these. By utilizing a synthetic voice module and stereophonic speakers, a robot is able to communicate with different individuals. Nebula, Kepler's specialized artificial intelligence system, processes all of the data that is collected by these sensors. The purpose of this technology is to assist the robot in maneuvering through challenging environments and avoiding obstacles, particularly when it is operating on uneven ground. There is more to the hands of the forerunner than meets the eye. They have the ability to feel and gently pick up objects, According to Kepler, the robot becomes self-aware enough to travel through complex situations when it is equipped with a nebula artificial intelligence system. This makes it useful for a variety of activities. Kepler is a company that promotes the concept of cooperation in the realm of humanoid robots. It does this by encouraging developers to work together in order to create things that are beneficial to everyone and to create an atmosphere in which everyone can profit. In conjunction with the debut of the robot, Kepler has established a location for developers to share their work. It provides developers with everything they require, including tools, examples of projects, and a great deal of information. Additionally, the company asserts that the location not only facilitates collaboration between various robots, but also offers helpful tools for working on projects online. The Kepler humanoid robots are anticipated to enter mass production and begin delivering in the third quarter of 2024, following a period of three years during which they have been utilized for research and development. This humanoid robot is designed to be an approachable choice in the market for humanoid robots, with an expected retail price range of $20,000 to $30,000. With an eye toward the future, Kepler intends to work together with developers from all around the world on the Kepler operating system platform in order to advance the intelligent development of research and industry applications, thereby contributing to the expansion of the global humanoid robot market. That's where we wrap things up for this episode. It is actually a great deal sticking around until this point. Here's a quick recap of what to do before a new video is published. First up, be mindful of our uploading schedule and timing. You can also keep up with new video uploads by clicking the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. To freely support of work, you can return the favor by sharing our content and making this channel your home for valued information. Also, your feedback in the comment sections below is greatly valued, some of which will be featured in new video releases. Thanks for watching this episode and do have a splendid day.